So we got to talk about Credit Suisse because there's been some developments over the weekend, which I think are worth mentioning. And this could actually be a really important moment um, in sort of where we are now in, in terms of the world markets, in fact. Um, if you read the headline, it's right here. Uh, Credit Suisse CEO seeks to calm as default swaps near 2009 level. And um, it's funny because when you read this kind of stuff, it's, it's uh, uh, certainly alarming, right? And the basic gist of it is that there's a lot of big bets uh, that the bank's going to fail. And the CEO's like, no, 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 we're okay, we're okay. And, and ordered all the staff to tell everyone, hey, hey, we're okay. And um, it's funny because uh, when they do that kind of stuff, the, the <laughs> I think the opposite occurs where people like feel like, no, I don't think it is okay. And, um, you know, I laugh because I, I, I just think it has an opposite effect. And um, it was interesting because about a, a week ago, I remember reading this and I saw it and I mentioned to you guys, um, but I wasn't sure what to make of it, to be honest. And, you know, the essentially what it was saying is that they were considering restructuring, which I knew was happening, um, and they were going to uh, divide the bank into three. Um, and, you know, this is sort of the description of it, and I'll read it to you guys. Um, Credit Suisse has drawn up plans to split its investment bank into three and resurrect a, quote, bad bank, holding pen for risky assets as the Swiss lender attempts to emerge from three years of relentless scandals. I mean, this doesn't sound good. Under, under proposals put forward to the group's, uh, group's board, Credit Suisse hopes to sell profitable units such as securitized products uh, business in a bid to stave off damaging capital raise of people familiar with the plans. Um, this whole thing of like sort of dividing it off, and, and it sounds like I, I felt like when I read this um, that they're trying to divide maybe like a whole bunch of uh, uh, bad contracts and, and bad credit and try to isolate it from the quote good contracts, good credit. Um, but the problem is it may turn out that it's all bad. Uh, the reason why I say that is because if you just take a look at the how the share price has been doing, I mean, this is just, I put on the max chart, but you can see um, down 81%. However, if you actually go from the peak to where it is now, it's you're more like in the 90% range, but it, it, it is just falling like a rock right now. And it's interesting because this whole sort of um, situation reminds me of, of, I'm sure you guys know the Michael Burry thing in the big short movie. I'm, I'm sure you guys know, but it seems like that kind of situation. Um, they're trying to assuage people over the weekend that everything's fine. And that's what I said when when you read those headlines, like, like they're, they're calling people on a weekend and essentially calling the rich clients. Um, it means like I think that things are not fine is, would be my guess. Uh, already a couple top executives have, have left. Um, other staff members have left as well. These are just the two big names. Um, one of the things I think is interesting is, is my understanding is it seems like how this game is probably being played out is they have a bunch of rich people who got money in the bank, essentially, and um, they need to get $4 billion. That's that's what it was reported to me in order to stay solvent. The, the basic idea also is to, uh, is the um, the Swiss government, uh, how can I say, uh, requires banks to hold a certain amount of cash, essentially. And if everyone pulls all their money out, then there's no money. I mean, it, that's just how it works. And um, I, I, I'm not sure. You know, it's it's funny. And, and I'm keeping it really, guys, I, I, I can't tell. Like, I don't know what the phone calls are exactly. I, I'm sure it's uncomfortable. Um, I mean, but you can see here, they're trying to reassure people that everything's okay. And that's why, that's why I say when you read that stuff, it just feels like, I don't think things are okay if they're calling people on a weekend. Um, and this is some of the, the description of it. I'll read it to you guys. Senior Credit Suisse executives spent the weekend, see, that's what I'm telling you, spent the weekend reassuring large clients uh, that means the big money, uh, counterparties and investors about Swiss Bank's liquidity and capital position in response to concerns raised about its financial strength, meaning that all these rich people are like, uh, is my money okay? What's going on with my money? <laughs> Should you have my money? Where's my money? Because, um, you know, people can put your money wherever they want. Um, and uh, they had to call people the weekend to ensure them that everything's okay. Uh, executives hit the phones after spreads on the bank's... Uh, Credit default swaps, which offer protection against a company's defaulting, uh, rose sharply on Friday, indicating investor worries over the bank's financial health. Um, people are taking bets against the uh, uh, against the bank failing. Essentially, they're, they're betting that the bank's going to fail. Essentially, um, the teams are actively engaging with our top clients and counterparts this weekend. Said Credit Suisse executive involved in discussions. We are also getting incoming calls from our top investors with messages of support. I, I don't know. I mean, so basically, if you read this, it's like, okay, we're calling a bunch of people saying everything's okay, and then and then they're 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 telling people, oh, and and all these other people are calling us saying, oh, we're okay, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna take our money out. I, I don't know. I just if things are okay, I, I don't feel like you're 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 you know calling everyone over on a weekend, and I think that's the big one for me. It was on the weekend thing, like why on the weekend? Maybe everyone's really worried about Monday. I mean, who knows? Um, and you can read the rest here. The executive denied recent press articles that the bank had formally approached investors about potentially raising more capital. So they're saying it's not true. Um, I had read 
um, that they're trying to get four billion, but they're saying that's not true and just a rumor. So you know, I'll I'll let you guys decide. So I'm not saying one way or the other because I, I don't know. Um, but uh, essentially, they're, like again, they're calling people at the weekend. Uh, insisting the bank was trying to avoid such a move with share price at record lows and higher borrowing costs due to uh, ratings downgrade. So um, I don't know, guys. I mean, I, it, it doesn't sound good. Um, also, too, you, you can see here they they um, actually sent out a memo. Uh, and we're going to read the memo because it's kind of fun to actually read the language. I'll read the whole thing. We'll just read part of it because um, I think the first couple of paragraphs is the most important. And, and um, we'll, we'll read it. This is from the CEO of Credit Suisse, and we'll see what they have to say. Uh, Dear colleagues, uh, I am conscious that there is lots of uncertainty and speculation both outside and within the company. Um, so again, and if you're fair, we're speculating we're outside the company. If anyone you know is inside the company, please let us know. It's kind of fun to, to hear these kind of things. Probably not fun for people who have money in this bank. For me, it's entertaining, but um, you know, uh, it was this just sounds okay <laughs> you don't you just don't want the the bank ceo to be saying uncertainty and speculation um while we while you will appreciate that i am unable to share details of our transformation plans before october 27th so he can't tell you the details that doesn't sound so great to me um i also want to make sure that you hear from me directly uh during this challenging period i will therefore be sending a regular update to you all until then so um, the, I, I guess the, the bad news may drop on October 27th or good news, however you want to say it. Um, but they're going to regularly communicate with people. And then, uh, we'll read the next paragraph in these notes. I will share some of my thoughts on where the bank is heading, my management priorities and observations from speaking with you at your desks and meetings with key stakeholders. I will also use the communication to recognize some of the work we're accomplishing for clients and a recurring feature. I will endeavor to respond to some of your questions. Um, so kind of, I mean, Right now, they're they're totally on damage control, and so uh, rumors are just flying around. Basically, that the whole gist is, is that they're 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 you know uh, failing, and you know like I said, I think for me the big one is they're calling people over the weekend. Um, they're even acknowledging that there's uncertainty and speculation. That's that's their own words, and you guys can see the share price for itself. And so, you know, with, with the um, increased bets uh, essentially against the the bank on on Friday, I think um, there's definitely concern for Monday, and this will be something to watch. Um, you know, I I have noticed certainly uh, I'm concerned about essentially the the world markets where you have the um, you know the UK central bank stepping in to prop up the currency. Uh, same in China. Um, you also have it in Korea and in Japan. Um, and that's, that's four countries that I know of. Uh, I'm sure there are others that I missed, but those, I mean, these are major uh, countries and, and major currencies. Uh, and then you have Credit Suisse kind of forced to call people over the weekend to reassure people that everything's okay. And that's why you just keep saying the thing when, when that's, when people are trying to call you tell you that everything's okay. I, I'm just thinking it's not okay, uh, but we'll see. And, uh, you know, when I see that share price, I'm just like, I don't know, guys. Um, so I'll be curious to your guys' thoughts on this thing. Um, do you think there is any um, reason for alarm? Do you think the, the CEO is just merely trying to quell the rumors and this is just a rumor and nothing nothing's okay, you know, nothing's wrong at all and everything's okay? Uh, or do you think this is the essentially the, the moment where we actually find out the truth about what's been happening this whole time and, and uh, maybe this thing is a larger spread? I, I wouldn't be shocked as well if, um, you know, the big money... Uh, in Russia, who you know, essentially a lot of their assets have been uh, frozen or taken away or, or whatever happened to these things, um, could be involved with this stuff as well. Um, and, and, as, and as well, too, you know, there's a lot of uh, money in China that is kind of um, floating around that may or may not exist anymore. I'm, I'm referring to the Evergrande situation because essentially, you know, when you have basically people borrowing from other people who are borrowing, <laughs> people by other people borrowing, you end up with essentially a big, a big domino uh, uh, situation that could happen. And so, um, all these things are connected, and uh, you know we're certainly in a situation where where um, the whole world essentially shares the the how can I say the the same risks uh, because of the, the the connections. And so that's my thoughts on this one, and um, love to hear you guys' thoughts on this as well. I I, I know I, I I read some of the sort of more spec wild speculation on the internet, which I don't want to necessarily go over that stuff because you know there, there's um, less uh, what's right word to say reliability or, or validity on, on, you know, sort of like message boards on Reddit and that kind of stuff. But um, I think when I read it and, and these sort of publications and stuff like that, I, I feel like this is more, um, how can I say, more safer to share with you guys as opposed to just, you know, making up just a bunch of random stuff. So um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these things, though. And um, hopefully this is useful and helpful for you. We'll see what happens on Monday. And um, I'll catch you in the next video.